What's up, Redneck Vapor? We back. I love this fucking thing. The Invader two thirds. Oh my god. I keep three batteries in it. I don't use the two door. Because I have the, um. I have some Invader, um, threes. I have two of them. And that's what, uh, they hold two batteries. So, there's no sense in buying this and putting two batteries in it. This thing lasts forever and it's strong as shit. Awesome with the dead rabbit. Yeah, I love Tesla mods. I love them. So, Raven, how are you in here? And what? What? Raven's doing two shows. What? What's up, Daniel? So I finished them coils. And I actually also finished the stitched aliens, the, uh, the fatty fralians that I started last night. I didn't like the Invader 2 too much, unless you're talking about a different one. This one, or a different one? I used this not even a full day. This one, this one wasn't good for me. It, it actually went bad right away. A custom copper cap made. Wow. Hmm. I don't know, Jim. That's a rough question. Custom copper cap. You gotta find a machinist somewhere. And what's up, by the way, Jim? So I finished them coils that I did earlier. And the stitched aliens. So there's the ones from earlier. I made this one a five wrap and then I took it out. But that's okay. And I think these are going to go in the dead rabbit. This is what it looks like when you don't skip fuse this. It looks. Yeah, I'm good you're enjoying them. And then here's the stitched aliens. Fatty frame staple stitched aliens. Mm -hmm. 
so I just got to take pictures of both of these. These are 10 ply and 27 gauge frames, and it's all nichrome. These are going to be really low, really, really low. And the staples are all mixed. Mixed 40, mixed ribbon, canthal and nichrome, half and half. Clean up my wall. My build station is a mess right now. A fucking mess. So, what I did while we were gone, besides that, is I also I prepped the ribbon again. The same shit I did earlier, I did it again. But I already prepped it. It's already clapped and I just got to take off the one clapped in. And then I'm going to cut it in half, put something in the middle of it, and fuse them together. I just don't know what yet. Yeah, I like them staples a lot. I've been wanting to make them for a while. They look like piano keys. So let me take off this one, 40 gauge. I got this one real nice and neat. It's like, it's damn near perfect, really. I did a good job on this one. Coils by Dre, what's up? Yeah, that revolver uh, spinner, the, uh, yeah, I think that thing does look pretty awesome, dude. I think I might have to pick that up. It's basically a new uh, swivel tool, like the Spin LT, only it turns. I 
I actually just put a swivel permanently on my spin LT just to make it run a little smoother. And look, it's the only thing that turns. It's like a really good swivel though. I really want to try a micro clapton with it. Um, that swivel is... One second, I'll show you the package. My team told me about it. And I only got the 110 pound, but um, croc, stainless steel, dual rotation, ball bearing swivels. So croc. And these are just the 110s, 110 pound. Now Crazy Face McGee on my team said that he uses like the... Uh, I forget if he said the 300 pound or the 600 pound, but they're nice. I wish they came with the hooks on them now. And I'm pretty sure some Walmart sell these. These are very popular. Really popular with the kids these days. What's up, Frank? Alright, so I got my ribbon. I just gotta think of what I'm gonna put in the middle. I could do some corrugated. That's kind of what I was thinking. But I was also thinking just a couple pieces of ribbon. Skip fuse it and then put some frames on the outside. Um. But I think I want to do, I think I might just do the corrugated though. I could also kind of pitchfork it, do one pitchfork. Like skip fuse something on here. And then cut it in half, put something in the middle, and fuse, skip fuse again. Because it is like a really clean length I did. It's like perfect spacing, the whole thing. Um, I'm just gonna put some, a stack in the middle. Maybe some corrugated though. Yeah, any of them will be pretty cool looking. I've been doing lots of pitchforks lately though, so I might want to stay away from that right now. I don't do as many corrugated as probably I should. So, let me put some corrugated in here. Cut that off. Take that off. So I got a good 11 inches here. I wish I had more.
whatever. I'll shoot for a single coil. If I like it that much, I'll do it again. So I got 11 inches clean, so five and a half. I could cut it. Don't flip either of them over. Make sure they're uh, not flipped. You just put the one up on the other, just like that. So now I can get, um, I'm going to do all stainless steel ribbon on the inside. So this was mixed. times the length. Give it a little stretch. And cut it. And then again, two times the length. A little stretch. Cut it. And then I need another piece to corrugate. So a little more than half do stretch and cut it then I can get my paper quiller I'll get the smaller piece I just cut and send her through sending it through the wrong way. So this thing's called a paper quiller and I'm sending sending it through the smallest gears on it. I got this on eBay. It was like eight ninety nine or something. And I just searched paper quiller. Try not to get it from China. It'll be a little cheaper, but it'll take forever. If you get it from US, you'll get it quicker. You might pay like three more dollars. They do make metal ones and AC more. If you have any near you, those hold them. You just gotta make sure the gears are fairly small. Big gears are gonna be harder to uh, work with that ribbon. All right. So what it does is it puts this natural bend in it. All right. See, it's bent. It's not straight. So I just take both ends and give it a little stretch. The littlest stretch will make it straight. All right.
yeah, I learned that lesson. You got to make sure that they're in the U.S. or you're gonna, unless you don't care about waiting a long time. Sometimes I don't give a shit. I'll wait a long time if it's cheap enough and I'm not in a rush. But you could be waiting for weeks. It's like one of my favorite stores um, for vape stuff is uh, 3F Vape. But 3F Vape takes forever. Forever. Two weeks to get what you wanted. But they have like really good clones and they're really cheap. Even their non clone stuff is really cheap. Taking my other two pieces of ribbon and bending it in half. I'm gonna cut them all the same size. I'm gonna do this over the trash can. Three months, Jesus Christ. That's just crazy. So I bend them. I got a loop in it. I'm going to put my corrugated in the middle. And I'm going to get some 40 gauge. Once I got my stack good, I'm going to wrap it. You don't want to wrap it too tight. You don't want that corrugated to collapse. Just want to wrap it tight enough to where it looks right. Nice and snug. Do like 10 wraps. Got a nice little shout out on Fresh's channel tonight. My Fresh and uh, Vape and Heathen. Vape Heathen also watched my uh, Dead Rabbit video. Like the day it came out. Commented on it and everything. We're from the same city and state, but we never really talked. That first one wasn't good. The end didn't line up good. So I gotta do it again.
Oh, they said on there. They said you were back up live here tonight. If you didn't, so oh, that's awesome. I was gonna watch the rest of the video later. Yeah, they've always been real cool with me. Obviously, let me on the show. Real nice guys, the whole group of them. That's what, it, that's what it's all about, though. Yeah, I'd like to talk to Billy Morris since we're in the same state. I'm sure he's busy. But I also have a couple firefighter buddies from Philadelphia. A good amount I work with since I'm a contractor. I do side work with some of the firefighters. If you don't know many firefighters, most of them do construction work on the side. And that's how it is in Philly. So there's a couple I do work with. And they do side work. And the one used to work with me before he became a firefighter. And him and his family are pretty well known in Philadelphia Fire Department because a lot of his family is in the Philadelphia Fire Department. Oh, you used to live in Philly, Redneck Vapor? Yeah, Raven's funny. Yeah, I could put both my frames on either side. This is going to be a big coil. Ben Allen, yeah. Yeah. Maybe an RDA one day, right? To be honest, I never had any idea or aspiration to have an RDA. There's a couple things I could think of that might be a good idea. Not a full RDA though. Now I just want to bind this really good. Just 
bind it a couple times so nothing goes nowhere with this corrugated it can really be tricky it's already messing up on me I shouldn't have hot glued the one side I should only hot glue one side Hot gluing two sides, it gives it no room for movement. And the corrugator kind of has to move. So I'm cutting off this hot glue down here. And that last bind I did was no good. What's up, Justin? What a vape shop, Redneck? Oh, Tuesday place, yeah. Yeah, cheesesteaks are great when you live in Philly, they're, you know, just another fucking food. Coil is going to be humongous. Humongous. Eight ply on each side. Corrugated in the middle. This may be my first three wrap coil. Got this corrugated with um, eight ply frames in forty gauge space. I'll show you in a sec. Let me um finish wrapping up this end. I got one more to go, and I'll show you what it looks like before I fuse it.
Yeah, eight on each side. <laughs> Someone's playing with the hearts. Somebody's making a beat. You gotta guess what the beat is. What's up, Lionel Loops? Team member from the Resistance Cruise here. I'll show you guys what this thing looks like. Humongous. That's what it looks like. Humongous. Eight ply mixed ribbon on each side. What's up? fix that but that's all right I just gotta pinch that with my finger same thing there Spacing looks good. Yeah, let's see how it fuses. Whoops, Daisy. So that ribbon that was corrugated that was out, usually you just got to pinch it back into place. Sometimes you got to bend the frame out to get it in there. It's really not as big of a deal as it looks. I'm literally fixing it right now just by doing this. And it'll probably do it again when I fuse it. But as long as when I fuse, I keep an eye on it and just keep pinching it, it's going to be fine. It's just the way corrugated is. It's all good now, though. Alright. So if I get a nice single coil out of this, I'll be happy. It's only like a five and a half inch piece. I guess if you did three wrap, I could get two. I don't know. Maybe I could do something crazy.
so there is 20 minutes left in this video about 18 minutes left let me see how much I could fuse with that 18 minutes left I kinda like how this video has been going so if it goes good I might save it and it might go on YouTube and then uh, if it's going good I'll hop back on and finish it up Love you a fatty. <sighs> All right, the goal is to get this as centered as possible in my drill. I'm live right now, buddy. Hmm? I can't hear you. I just gotta get my 40 gauge out of my bag. I'm running low. I gotta order some 40 gauge. hand wrap it to get it started. go like a quarter inch quarter inch and just crimp it down make sure everything's good because if you start off straight you'll have success the rest of the way as long as you keep an eye on it You don't want to put too much pressure on it. Because you don't want the corrugated to, uh, to collapse.
So as long as your spacing is good, you should uh, you should have a good time with this. It shouldn't be that hard. Make sure the ribbon's good that you're coming up to, the corrugated. Every quarter inch or so. Let's flatten it.
Got five more minutes left of this video. Make sure that my corrugate is good. This whole build starts with good spacing. I mean, if you don't have good spacing, this fusing can be a nightmare. I mean, these guys seem made before. Struggle with fusing. So I'm halfway there. All right, Frank. What's up, Bones? Um, let me fuse it another minute longer, and then I'll show you guys what I got from here, and then the video is going to be up. And then I'll come back on and finish it up. So you can straighten this out if you uh, have to reverse a bit. Not much, but enough. Oh, shit. I'll be right back, guys, and I'll show you a better one without shiny ace light on it.
So this is all good. I had a little hiccup at the end there. There's one little... I actually skipped that on purpose because I started to go on an angle. And then I have one hiccup, two hiccups here. And it's just because my spacing's off a little there. It's the slightest amount, but it looks like it picks right back up. So I just got to get through this little section. No big deal. You can see the one on the bottom is a little more space than the one on the top. But when I get up here, it all goes back to normal. No big deal. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to fit this in anything. You might as well not even wrap it up. I'm actually going to have a little bit of a hard time thinking of what I'm going to put this in. Maybe an OG goon? I don't know. It's definitely going to have to be a three wrap, I think. I don't know. Now I could run this on an angle as much as I want, but once the spacing starts to get good again, I may have to jump a space to get back to normal. That's just what you have to do if your spacing's messed up. There's not, a, there's not as many spaces on the one side as there is the other. I'm almost at that point. Almost.
I might think I'm at that spot right now. I'm back at the even spacing. I skipped actually two spaces. See if I can't get uh, somewhat of a close up if I can. Top Alaska.
Yeah, I'm gonna slide Christmas. Alright, the ribbon, the corrugated. I can see. It's acting funny. So I gotta pay attention. And you know what? I think a couple of you can kinda see it there. See it? It's good inside there. But it starts coming out. So what's probably happening, I'll get that close up because I kind of like that view. What's probably happening is I have so much shit here that I slid down and I don't need all that. And then I could kind of pull the frames apart and sneak that ribbon back in there. And I got enough for more than one coil, especially if I'm doing three wrap, even four wrap, it's enough. But I want to wrap the rest just in case I could get two, three wraps out of it. That would be pretty awesome.
Yes, yeah, Steve. It, it's a lot of practice, man. It, it definitely is a lot of practice. Don't think that you're, uh. Don't think that, uh, it wasn't a lot of practice for everybody. I didn't start going live and making videos for three years in, so. Two and a half years in. And I still have my bad nights. I used to hate staggering. Now I quite like it. Sometimes it feels like it's going good and you don't want to stop fusing. But you got to stop sometimes just to crimp it down. It sucks when you're on a roll, but you got to do it. lost is my battery's fucking oh my god it's one percent Jesus Christ I almost lost this video show you guys how much I got left. So I'm right here. Swivel. Almost done.
Alright. I think I need a little vape break. Yeah, once I'm done this, I'll show you guys the other two I finished today. Um, I finished that stitched alien from yesterday. The uh, fatty, fatty fralians. The 10 ply, 27 gauge frames. And then I did uh, some. Half staggered staples, skip fuse. This wire's looking really good, though. Pretty proud of this one. I think the video is going to be pretty cool too. Guess we'll see how the um, new phone does on the video. I haven't downloaded my edit program yet.
Uh, what's up, Bones? Yeah, I'm almost done. I'll show you. I make these things. I actually made a new one. So I can block the light. It's like just a little white box. But um I use these to take pictures sometimes too. I have two or three lights, LED lights. And I just put my RDA under there with the camera, make sure that I get shade. Get good, um, you get good, uh, what's it called? Exposure, I guess. So it's a ply on each side. And then five ply in the middle. One's corrugated. All the um, ribbon on the inside stainless, but the rails, the frames, are equally mixed canthal and nichrome. And all 40 gauge Clapton using I think I should be able to wrap this up hiding any kind of mistakes and then this is what I did earlier half staggered staples skip fuse And I finished them fralians from yesterday. <laughs> Luckily, I only did that uh, single coil length, or uh, I'd be pulling my hair out. Oh, uh, your phone died. So these are from, one of these is from yesterday, I finished the other one today, 10 ply, 27 frames, 38 alien, 40 stitch, yep, got my eyes on the prize, 
Then I did these earlier, half staggered staples. And then this is the one I was just doing. <clears throat> Eight ply on each side. Five ply in the middle, one's corrugated. A little messed up here, but I think I'll be able to uh, either put that in a lead or hide it. Yeah, it's a big coil. Big wire. Very big wire. <clears throat> but if it has to go, if it has to go in a big RDA, whatever, I'll put it in a big RDA. I got a couple 30 millimeter RDAs. I got the, um, what do I got? I got the temple. I got the temple. I got the mason. I'm going to do three wrap though. And I guess I'll try to do it now. I'm a little scared to wrap it to tell you the truth, but. That didn't get anybody anywhere. So I'm just kind of pressing her down. And I think I'm going to pull out the little vice on this one. You want to put it on an angle when it's this big. You can't just wrap this straight up because <laughs> it won't wrap that way. It's got to be on a little bit of an angle. You got to help it a little bit get to where it's got to go. I'm about to do this around a 3.5 too. That might be a good idea. found out like with a 3.5 you could always if you change your mind you can actually pull it tight and get it to a 3 so this is going to be a lot of fun I think I actually want to clamp this down Big guns for this one. <laughs> Is that on the white wall? Thank you. 
EC clamps suck. I should have just used the one. The quick clamp. Good to have these handy. Oh, fuck this thing. Now it's in the way. The place alone's good enough. It's so fucking huge. It's ridiculous. Especially with the 3.5 in it. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna see if I can't tighten it up a bit with the 3mm. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work.
All right. I gotta tighten it up a little bit. That last wrap should kind of pull it back and almost do a fourth wrap. I should do it to the other side too. These things are ridiculous. These are 16 core stagger fuse clapped and ridiculous, these things. Jesus. I wonder if they'll fit in the Goon 1.5. Shame I only have one good one point five. Come on. Of course that mistake's right at the top. Yeah, not a 24. If they don't fit the 1.5, they're not going to fit any other 24, I don't think. It sucks that I, I'm about to take them aliens out of the 1.5. I only have one 1.5. I got this one. I got this one. These are going to own me out so fucking well. I'm going to have to heat these up separate times. I mean, they are like four wraps. When you do three wraps around a 3.5, it is like a four wrap around a three millimeter.
these things are ridiculous. Merlin. Would they really fit in there? I don't know the Merlin. I didn't think the Merlin was like that. I mean, these things are huge. Oh, these will fit in the Goon 1.5 easy, easy fit in there. They're like perfect. I think that's what's going to happen. They're fitting in there. Let me see if I can get a picture. It's not even going to be a struggle with these. Okay, maybe I'll figure out somewhere else to put these aliens. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Dot twenty four. Look at that. Slip right in. Right out. Yeah, I need another goon one point five. This is going to look pretty cool. They were made for it, right? That's what's going to happen. I just got to figure out, you know what? Yeah, and these aliens I'll put in the Druga. That's what I'll do. Yeah. These will go in the Druga. Those will go in the Goon. And then them staples are going in the uh, Dead Rabbit. These four wrap. Alright guys. Fuck it. There's like two minutes left. Like two minutes left. Let me do an enigma. <laughs> so I'll just wait until this video runs out. Vape a little bit. Productive day. Productive day. I got my coils for my pictures for the rest of the week. I think. And I still got to build tomorrow live. So tomorrow night on YouTube, I'll be live. Um, and that's it. That's all I really got to say about that. I'll get these coils mounted shortly.
Hope everybody has a good weekend. It's only Friday, even though this week flew by. You'll be there, BJ. What's up, by the way? I don't think I said what's up. This video is going on YouTube. Um, if I can get all two hours on there, I will. Now might be the best time to do that. Since there's nothing in my phone. I got a new phone, so there's not a bunch of pictures in there. There's like 80 right now. I gotta post some pictures of that other build I had. 28 seconds left, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy your weekend.